Here's your three minute Drager Fabius anesthesia machine check. First thing we do is check our pipeline hoses to make sure they're connected to the wall unit and secure. They are here. We have oxygen here, air here, nitrous, and our vacuum. Then we follow around to make sure they're connected to the back of our machine. Nitrous, air, oxygen. Here we have our cylinders, nitrous, air, and oxygen as well. And we have our emergency equipment for our pediatric self-inflating bag and our adult self-inflating bag with a mask included. We open up our cylinders, come around, turn on our anesthesia machine, check our scavenging unit, and our CO2 absorbent. At this point, our machine should be going through its own system check before we begin our own for our leak compliance test, to calibrate our O2 sensor, and to calibrate our flow sensor. The first thing we do is calibrate our O2 sensor. Here we open this and expose this to room air, and then we're ready to begin to calibrate our O2 sensor. This is a good time to check your O-ring to make sure the integrity is intact before reinserting it into your machine. Our next step is to check our flow sensor and calibrate that. In order to do that, we must expose our expiration hose to air and start our flow sensor calibration. Now, I know that this is the expiration hose because it's labeled here as well as the arrow pointing back into the machine. Our inspiration hose is also labeled and there's arrow pointing out. Once that flow sensor has been calibrated, you reattach and now we're ready to check our leak and compliance test. In order to do that, we turn an APL valve between 40 and 50 centimeters of water and then we use our O2 flush button to inflate this between 15 and 30 centimeters of water. That is enough to start the machine to run through its entire leak and compliance test. At this point, this is a great time to check everything else as far as your monitors, your cylinder pressures here, and your pipeline pressures here to make sure that they are at the appropriate values. We can look into our anesthesia agent to make sure that it is full, intact, secure, and that our refill knob is, is closed all the way down. We can look at our monitor and see that we have our pulse ox reading coming up as well as our CO2. In order to see our entitled CO2, all you have to do is breathe, blow on top of the CO2 and you should see a waveform. Once that is complete and you see the waveform and the leak test is finished, that is the best time to check your hypoxic um, mixture between your nitrous and your oxygen. You should not be able to, to create that. In order to see that test go through in its entirety, follow us on the next video.